Hello, I'm Mike Kelly, one of the founders of webcastingvideo.com, the number one pay-per-view webcasting gateway for videographers. Look, everyone wants to make a little extra money these days, and since you already have a video camera and a computer with an internet connection, you could be webcasting your next live event. In the next five minutes, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about webcasting and about how to add webcasting to your line of products and services. Everything you need to get started doing a webcast can be found right here on the table. A video camera, a way to connect the video stream from the camera to a computer, which is connected to the internet, running special software that sends the video stream up to our servers. I prefer using Canon HD consumer grade cameras. They have a microphone in jack. Some cameras don't have that. If they don't have an audio in or microphone jack, you're probably not getting the best audio for your webcast. And of course, you need a way to get the audio video stream out of the camera. These cameras all come with an eighth inch line connector that go to RCA outputs. Some cameras have FireWire outputs. You'll run those directly to your computer. If your camera doesn't have FireWire outputs, you're going to need an A to D converter to convert your analog video into digital video so that you can import it into your computer. I use an ADD converter called the Canopus ADVC110 from Grass Valley. It takes video in the front and sends it out digitally via FireWire out the back. Regardless of how you get the video stream into your computer, the next piece of the puzzle is the Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder software. This software takes the video stream in and compresses it down to be streamed across the internet. For specific field values, go ahead and check out our demo at webcastingvideo.com. You'll have to sign up and become a member to try out the demo. And those are the basics to get you started in webcasting. But the real question is, can you make money doing pay-per-view webcasting? The answer is, of course you can. But let's make sure we're on the same page first. Webcasting is simply taking your video stream and sending it up the internet so that people can watch it on their computers at home. Pay-per-view webcasting is charging those viewers a subscription fee to be able to watch your webcast. But in order for you to be able to charge those viewers, you need a way for them to securely pay for their webcast and to make sure they don't share their tickets with hundreds of their friends. That's where we come in. Webcastingvideo.com is your gateway for charging your viewers a subscription fee to watch your webcast events. Most organizations do not webcast their events. This is good news for you. This is fertile ground. There is no competition yet. You can go out and get customers and skip over the competitive bidding process later because, really, how many other videographers do you know that can do a pay-per-view webcast? Right now, not so many, but they will soon. So go out there and get on the leading edge of this technology. Be at the forefront of this paradigm. Now, as you know, some events like weddings are one and done. You shoot the video, you hand them a DVD, and it's all over. But corporations have events either annually, semi-annually, or multiple times a year. And we all know it takes significant resources to get new clients. So which would you rather have? The one and done event or the corporations that give you recurring revenue? You can go out and get new webcast customers right now and double your income, not only by getting your videographer fees, but by getting subscription fees on top of that. Let's take a look at some of the numbers. Here's an example of a pay-per-view webcast. First thing you want to do is determine how much you think a viewer will pay to watch an event. Let's settle on a ticket price of $25. Now you can estimate how many viewers you think will watch the event. Let's suppose that we have 100 viewers subscribed to this event. The total income for the event then becomes 25 times 100 viewers is $2,500. As your gateway for this event, webcastingvideo.com keeps 35% of the subscription fees. So you as the webcaster get to keep 65% of the viewer's subscription fees. Not a bad take-home pay for setting up a webcast. Plus, you get to keep all of your regular videography fees. Anyway, these are just a few of the highlights to get you started on your webcasting business. If you haven't done so already, please join us on our website at webcastingvideo.com where you can sign up to become a member, download a sales booklet to give you more information on how to get new event clients, and try out a demo to actually start your first webcast experience right now. Our other website is Clear Sky Webcasting, where your subscribers will go to purchase your events and watch your events online. Thank you. And remember, every webcast begins with a video.